Mamma Mia is not a fluke. Devil Wears Prada is not a fluke. If you actually make these movies and you make them well, lots of people go see them, and not just women. I grew up on Fordham Road in the Grand Concourse, which was a pretty diverse area in the Bronx. My mom was a housewife, but she was a clear feminist. And the early 70s in the Bronx, there were not many housewives who were feminist. She had a love of plays and TV and movies. And even as kids, we went to Broadway shows. I went to see Measure for Measure, and there was this young actress named Meryl Streep in it. And even at 16, I knew I was in the presence of greatness. That's one of the seminal moments when I thought, how do I get into this business? An actor of note came to the desk and wanted another suite. So I spent 15 minutes convincing him to stay in that suite and I gave him a better deal. And this woman came up and said, you should be an agent. And the next day, the telephone operator says, Nat Lefkowitz on the phone. He's uh, chairman of the board of William Morris. And I thought I was being punked. Two hours later, a hand-delivered letter came that said, this is not a joke. My wife's best friend saw you in action last night and thinks you should be an agent. When I first saw Sarah Jessica Parker, I thought, who is that? I signed Sarah when she was 19. And I met Julia Roberts in a bar. She just had a presence that you had to pay attention to. Of course women weren't opening movies because they weren't making movies that starred women. It was becoming a self-fulfilling prophecy. I so vividly remember my mom sitting me down at her kitchen table and saying, where are my movies? Why aren't you making movies for us? And that's been my mission for a very, very long time. Women and these characters are valuable and they bring in money. And I thought, I can do this and it'll be a great business decision. Not just a smart decision and a moral and ethical decision to fight for that, but it's profitable. <laughs> and that's the word that people want to see in town. I'll give it to them. I wanted myself and this company to be at the forefront of equality. But this is not passive, this is a fight. On Devil Wears Prada, Meryl was very clear that she wasn't taking a reduced deal. So you say to Fox, Meryl Streep's not doing this unless she gets paid. <laughs> every artist is different, and what you want to do is give them every opportunity to realize their ambitions and their dreams. When Halle won the Academy Award, it was a moment in my career that I'll never forget. It was spectacular to see a woman of color up there and to see her lead the charge with this. But it has to be a very conscious decision. The struggle never stops, but it's simple. Show up. Don't let them ignore you. you know, be my mother.